Hi guys, today I am going to explain you how to make derivatives with the rules. In fact, derivatives are only one of the most important concepts in calculus. Actually, in this video series, I will give some examples on differentiation by dividing them into few different methods. Okay, let's find the derivative. Uh, let's take first method. So this is the power rule. d by dx within bracket x to the n is equal to n times x to the n minus 1. So this is the power rule. So this is really simple. All you have to do bring that power down to the front as a coefficient and then reduce that power y1 so let's look at the examples example number one y is equal to fx is equal to x to the fifth so we want to find the derivatives of this equation so derivative of y is equal to dy by dx is equal to derivative of fx is equal to f dash x is equal to now we want to differentiate x to the fifth actually in this case we bring down phi to the front as a coefficient and then reduce that pow this power by one so write phi times x reduce this power by one so 5 times x to the fourth this is the answer okay example number two y is equal to x so derivative of y is equal to dy by dx is equal to now we know uh, there is a one so bring down the one to the front as a coefficient so one times x now reduce this power by one okay theorem number one the differential coefficient of a constant is zero so we can write this equation is like this okay look at the examples example number one derivative of five so five is the constant so derivative of five is zero example number two d by dx five over three so we know the 5 is a constant so the derivative of 5 over 3 is equal to 0 okay now theorem number 2 an additive constant disappears in differentiation okay this is the equation uh, d by dx fx plus c is equal to d by dx fx so c disappears okay look at the example example number one d by dx x to the third plus five so now we want to differentiate x cube plus five with respect to x so we can use power rule to differentiate x cube so three times x square plus zero because in theorem number two an additive constant disappears in differentiation so five disappears if not in theorem number one we know the derivative of constant is just zero so the answer is three times x square 
okay let's move to the theorem number three uh, this is uh, the differential coefficients of the product of a constant and a function is equal to the product of the constant and the differential coefficient of the function so this is the equation this is the constant and this is the function so we want to differentiate this with respect to x so this is, is equal to k times derivative of fx so look at the example example number one y is equal to seven times x to the fifth okay now we want to differentiate this equation with respect to x so derivative of y is equal to dy by dx is equal to uh, now we can use theorem number three for the differentiate this so rewrite seven and then derivative of x to the fifth so bring down the five to the front as a coefficient so five times x now reduce this power by one so 7 times 5 times x to the 4th so the answer is 35 times x to the 4th ok now let's look at some examples example number 1 we want to di uh, differentiate y is equal to s cube plus 3 so derivative of y is equal to dy by dx is equal to now using power rule 3 times s square so 3 disappears so the answer is 3 times s square now example number 2 y is equal to square root x so we can write this like square root x is same as x to the one half so we can write x to the one half now differentiate with respect to x derivative y is dy by dx is equal to 1 over 2 times x to the 1 over 2 minus 1 so 1 over 2 times x half minus 1 is minus half so now x to the minus 1 half uh, move to the bottom so So the answer is 1 over 2 times square root x. Okay, example number 3. y is equal to 7 times x to the fifth plus x cube plus 3. So derivative of y is equal to dy by dx is equal to 7 times 5 times x to the 4th plus 3 times x square plus 0 so the answer is 35 times x to the 4th plus 3 times x square example number 4 y is equal to 1 over x cube in this case we are going to move the x cube to the top uh, when we do that the positive 3 changes into negative 3 and so now we can use the power rule so we can write this y is equal to x minus 3 now use the power rule so derivative of y is equal to dy by dx is equal to minus 3 times x minus 3 minus 1 
so 3 times x to the minus 4 now we can move to the bottom so minus 3 over x to the 4 this is the answer ok next example number 5 y is equal to 5 times x to the fourth plus square root x minus x to the minus 3 over 2 plus 9 so we can write this y is equal to 5 times x to the fourth plus square root x is equal to x to the one half minus x to the minus 3 over 2 plus 9 so now differentiate with respect to x so derivative of y is equal to dy by dx is equal to now we can use power rule 5 times 4 times x to the third plus x to the one half minus one minus minus three over two times x to the minus three over two minus one so nine disappears because the nine is constant then five times four is twenty times x cube plus 1 over 2 x 1 to the half minus time minus is equal to plus 3 over 2 times x minus 3 over 2 minus 1 is equal to minus 5 over 2 so 20 times x cube plus 1 over 2 times square root x plus 3 over 2 times x to the 5 over 2 so this is the answer okay we are done this chapter thank you for watching